The English city of Bath has hosted an annual film festival for more than 25 years. This year, however, the historic city itself is getting as much attention as the movies being shown there. Film buffs are gathering in Britain's ancient city of Bath, which is hosting its annual film festival. This year, organisers are screening films which give a voice to groups who aren't often heard. Most of the films that we see on the big screen are stories which are told by and frequently about white, cisgendered, straight, heterosexual, middle-class, middle-aged men. And at Bath Film Festival, one of the things that we try to do is to amplify diverse voices. Specifically, we have a, a rating called the F rating, which highlights films which have a woman at the helm, either directing it, writing it, or starring on screen, and 50% of our programme is F rated. Bath Film Festival has been running for 26 years, but the city's association with the silver screen has been going on far longer, and Bath itself has often taken a starring role. The whole city has been designated a World Heritage Site because of its stunning architecture, some of which dates back to Roman times. But it's this, the Royal Crescent, that is the jewel in Bath's architectural crown. Like much of the city, it was built in the Georgian era, the 1770s, which makes this place the perfect backdrop for period drama. The Duke of Devonshire, he loves me. Yes, of course. I've only met him twice. The Duchess, starring Keira Knightley, is one of the many movies filmed in Bath's Georgian assembly rooms, once a meeting place for high society. Tia Oman and Satu Walden are visiting from their home in Finland. They're scene framing parts of the film. Uh, scene framing is when you take a screenshot from a movie or a TV show and then you put it on an iPad and you find the exact location where it was filmed and then align it with the background so people can see what's around there. The women have travelled the world scene framing shots from their favourite movies and shows and uploading them on their website which has drawn fans from all over the world. Uh, we do this because we are huge movie and TV fans so for us it's kind of a way to get closer to those of things that we love and sort of just going to the locations is awesome but it's also like a tribute to those who make the movies and the uh, some of the stars from these movies they've they've seen them uh, we've got some of the scene frames signed by them they're really amazed they're like some of them are uh, surprised that we went to those places like a little uh, hole in the ground where there's a cave Benedict Cumberbatch looked at the photo and said, oh, that's a bit creepy, you're not allowed to go there. It was like, we just went. <laughs> it's really funny. Bath has many sites for scene framing. Jane Austen's novels were set here, so crews adapting her books have followed. And the worldwide hit Sherlock, starring Benedict Cumberbatch, was filmed here too. Plenty more then for Tia and Satu to do here. Vanessa Cuddiford, TRT World, Bath.